Welcome to part two of IAPA Expo 2022 at the Orange County Convention Center in Orlando, Florida. Of course, this is another episode of What About Our Life Adventures with Chris and Will. Uh, you know, if you ever wondered what we look like before we actually get prettied up and dressed for the day, well, the opening of this episode is exactly what we look like. More games, food, more unveilings of great rides, attractions, and so much more is here in this episode. And I don't even know if we're going to be able to finish all. So let's, let's go take a look. Attention passengers, we've now reached our destination. We hope you enjoyed the flight and have a nice day. It's SeaWorld Orlando time, and here Chris and Will have got the exclusive unveiling of the actual new ride pipeline opening up next year at SeaWorld Orlando. So, you know what? Come on, let's, let's go check it out. It is out of this world. Surf's up. I am Jonathan Smith. I am the Corporate Vice President of Rides and Engineering for SeaWorld Parks and Entertainment. It's a pleasure to be with you today. The viewing in the spring of 2023, we are inviting all dudes and dudettes to hang 10 on Pipeline the Surf Coaster, the world's first surf coaster. It's a first of its kind attraction on the planet 
that can only be experienced at SeaWorld Orlando. Pipeline to Surf Coaster celebrates the iconic surf cultures found throughout the world. And our surfers will be riding waves on a gnarly, gigantic surfboard that will send them on a journey of tight turns, twists, five airtime moments, and a wave curl inversion, which is designed to simulate a corked alley-oop surfing maneuver. So if you know anything about surfing, that is one of the most difficult maneuvers to perform. And you can do that right here on Pipeline the Surf Coaster. So without further ado, if everyone on our, our, our floor here is ready, we are excited to provide you a first look, a reveal of this new, amazing, next generation vehicle for the world's first surf coaster. So if our friends on the IAPA floor are ready and our Facebook Live fans are ready, let's take a look at the ride vehicle for Pipeline the Surf Coaster. Sophie, are you ready? Let's do a countdown. You guys ready? So five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Pretty gnarly, right? Our surfing adventure begins with a dynamic wave launch that will propel our surfboard to a speed of 60 miles per hour. And then our surfboard is gonna maneuver into a 110 foot tall hammer head wave. Throughout the near 3,000 foot long journey, our surfers will experience wave jumping motions, which will make them feel like they are actually surfing. And what I mean by that is the restraint system is designed to heave or move vertically to some degree, so our surfers will feel the power and motion of the waves. Pipeline will be the seventh roller coaster at SeaWorld Orlando, adding more incredible diversity to the coaster capital of Orlando. And Pipeline will also be located along the shores of SeaWorld Orlando's lagoon and will inspire joy and respect for the power of the ocean and pay homage to surf cultures from every single era. This is a first of its kind attraction that could only be provided by SeaWorld. I'm also excited to announce that our annual past members will be amongst the very first to ride Pipeline before we open to the general public. So stay tuned for further details as we prepare the beaches for this amazing surfing experience. There's so much to take in over here, and I'm just so excited to be here. But even a person as myself needs to have a little bit of snack time in between. So visiting this booth over here behind me actually is Mini Melts. It's sort of like Dippin' Dots, but 10 times better. And the flavor I got is cookie dough. I am totally impressed, and I'm so ready. So let's take a little bit of a taste. Oh, it's definitely good. Oh, yeah.
amazing. Look at this. It's huge, right? And even though that is really big, this studio right here, Bridgewater Studio, is a first time exhibitor here at the IAPA Expo in Orlando, Florida. What I'm holding right here, this is so small. So they can make things huge and very, very tiny. And look at the detail on this. It is so detailed, it even has their name on it. So let's go on over and see a brief overview. Over here. Well, hi there. It's going amazing. And I gotta say, amazing too, because you have an incredible concept here. Uh, tell our listeners and our viewers uh, what you're all about. Uh, we're Bridgewater Studio. We are a full service uh, concept production studio based out of Chicago. Nice. Yes, 60,000 square feet uh, dedicated to design uh, and engineering, uh, built environments, interactives, and sculptures. Wow, that's incredible. Really briefly, just tell us what um, you would like to share with us. We do hospitality, uh, museums, uh, interiors, and we develop all sorts of bespoke projects. Uh huh. Interactive, um, decorative, sculptural. Nice. Uh, and we do all sorts of 3D printing, carving with robots, laser cutting. All sorts of fun digital fabrication. Very nice, very nice. Well, let's come and take a look at what their exhibit offers. You gotta take a look at this over here. Look at this. Oh my gosh, like, you just look at this and, I mean, I'm amazed, but look at the. Look at all that. That is so awesome. And then over here, that's kind of neat. I guess that's where it all happens. <laughs> Pretty cool. Okay, so Willie, you're gonna get on what? This little jungle boat? Yeah, ride? it's the VR jungle boat ride. Yes, and, and, you, and push that button behind you. Okay, okay. You ready? Yes, okay. They're gonna start singing. Nothing's happening. There it is. You know, I have to say that Cedar Point has always been on our bucket list. Unfortunately, we've never really made it up to that part of this country, but we plan to in 2023. But here at the IAPA Expo, Chris and Will get another exclusive unveiling of a brand new ride, but this time at Cedar Point. Point, and we get to go enjoy it next year. So you'll have to come back for another great adventure for that. But for the meantime, let's check out this new mouse ride. You know what? I used to ride these rides when we were a kid. And in fact, they used to have some of them here in Orlando, but they've kind of just dissipated over the years. So I'm really happy to see this attraction bring back some nostalgia to the parks. So let's check it out. An unveiling from Cedar Point Park. Everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the IAPA Trade Show floor. I'm Tony Clark, the Director of Communications at Cedar Point. I am so honored to be here today, along with Adam Sandy from Zamperla, as we work together to unveil our brand new Wild Mouse Roller Coaster car. Are you excited? I am excited. Do we know what's under there? Do you know what's under there? I do know what's under there. Okay, I, I have not seen what's under here, truthfully, so this is going to be a nice reveal for us. 
You know, Cedar Point is the second oldest amusement park in North America. We are so proud of our rich history on the shores of Lake Erie. And back in 1870, all we wore was a beach. People came to the beach, they spent the day bathing in the sun, playing in Lake Erie, and then over the years it just grew into the mega resort that it is today. And now we are a multi-day destination for families, for thrill seekers, roller coaster lovers, entertainment lovers, and event lovers alike. And in 2020, uh, we tried to celebrate our 150th anniversary, and that didn't go as planned, so we did it the next year. We celebrated our heritage. And we're kind of reinventing our heritage again in 2023 with the introduction of the boardwalk at Cedar Point. So in addition to a great new roller coaster, the Wild Mouse, which is a nod to the Wild Mouse from the 60s at Cedar Point, we're also adding Cedar Point's Grand Pavilion, which is a multi-story dining and entertainment venue where you can sit if you are a non-rider on one of the patios and watch the Wild Mouse coaster spin and spin and spin while you enjoy a nice beverage or a nice meal. And I, I don't know, I'm, uh, I'm pretty thrilled to see this. Are you excited? I'm ready. Are you guys ready to see this? Yeah! All right, Cedar Point's 18th roller coaster. It is the Wild Mouse. Let's count it down. Ready? Three, Three two... two. One! And it's the cheese car! The cheese is here. So the Wild Mouse Coaster has several cars. Six of them are mice. And the mice are going to chase the cheese. Our old Wild Mouse Coaster did uh, uh, some pretty traditional maneuvers. It didn't do the crazy things. But Sam Perla has taken that idea and has made it into a crazy, new, twisting, enjoyable family thrill. Why don't you tell us about that, Adam? Sure. I mean, the big thing is, you know, whenever you work with Cedar Point, it's always, what can we do that's different? And when they came to us, they said, look, we love your ride platform, but we want to have it a little more crazy. So we've done a few custom twister coasters. This is the most crazy one we've done so far. We're really excited about it. I think the other big thing that's a big difference from other manufacturers is that we really worked hard on ADA, you know, accessibility. We have over 90 rides in our portfolio, and we've taken a lot of time and effort in engineering to make sure that guests who have unique challenges can get in the vehicle. On this specific one, this side door actually opens up. So if you're doing a wheelchair transfer, it's very easy. It doesn't take a lot of time. And we recognize that, you know, trying to go beyond, the, you know, go beyond just what ADA requires so that everybody rides, that's our goal. We may not always get there, but going beyond compliance is really key to what we do and who we serve. And I think the other fun thing is the height requirement. You know, you guys have crazy coasters through there, like Steel Vengeance, Awesome Ride. There's a few. Oh, pretty, pretty crazy ones. Yes. Pretty intense though, right? Yes, it is. You know, I think this would be great because 42 inches to ride, families that visit, you guys are a huge resort now, so enjoy something fun and different that if you grow out of those kiddie coasters but aren't quite ready to jump into Steel Vengeance, this is the perfect ride for that family. And your memories start with rides like the Wild Mouse. You remember that very first coaster you rode together, the very first big one you rode together. Exactly. And the one thing I'm really thrilled about is the fact that no two rides will be the same. So if you're if you're riding with just a friend or you're riding with a family at all four of your ride, it's gonna spin in very different ways. Pretty crazy. Bit pro tip, heavier people on one side, lighter people on the other you're not gonna stop spinning. If you want that, not everybody does. So. Yeah, but not after corn dogs and fresh cut fries. No, that was, that's less than great, so save that. Uh, so we're excited to debut the Wild Mouse Coaster in the spring of 2023 when Cedar Point opens for the season in May. Uh, we invite you to come and take a, li a ride on the Wild Mouse uh, next summer, but until then, uh, we'd like people to come and check this out now. Yep, have a seat, come enjoy the Wild Mouse, and thanks everybody for stopping by. Thanks all.
We can do this. Yes. And I'm sure they played the game already. Has a number, but each player wants to choose. So each jazz contains a different number, but each player wants to choose it of their choice. But if both teams choose the same gem, or two or more teams choose the same gem, you will get no points, all right? You have 30 seconds to discover the team and then choose the color that you want. Feel free to be a little secretive, so huddle up. And let's go. If you want the multicolored gems, press both of those colors at the exact same time. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Can you press those? Press it? Yeah. Give it up for the cans, birds, rats, bones, and bugs. Moving on to the next one for the high stakes round. If two or more teams choose the same gem once again, then you will lose the pass. Imagine all of this excitement and what it took for us just to be involved with it. You know, it was a whole week long plus more of all these different things, unveilings, educational programs, and so much more going on at IAPA. And, you know, two episodes just doesn't cover it because there's so much more to do and so much more to unveil. So, unfortunately, this episode, we're going to have to wrap it up. But you'll have to join us for a continuance of the IAPA Expo and see how dynamic it is. I mean, imagine we were walking three to four miles a day, all day long. Boy, were our feet tired. I tell you what, we lost some good weight. At least I did anyway. But you know what? It was so much fun and it was worth it. So you're going to have to come back and see us again and see this adventure because it's all about our life adventures. The Chris and Will experience. I mean, Gosh, aren't you excited? Doesn't this make you just want to go to the event next year or go to these parks or experience some of this grand stuff? So, you know what, friends? We're going to have to see you later. Join us for the continuance of the IAPA Expo at the Orange County Convention Center in Orlando for 2022. See ya. Bye.